the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even though he was a prophet and messenger, he still made istighfar and tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over 70 times a day. In another narration in Sahih Muslim, over <clears throat> 100 times a day. In another narration in Sahih Muslim, over a hundred times a day. That's the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let's ask ourselves now, how many times have we made istighfar and tawbah today? Well, what's the difference between istighfar and tawbah anyways? Well, istighfar is something that you say with your mouth, verbally seeking forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. But tawbah is the actual change that you make within yourselves. And the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to make istighfar and the conviction to be better, to be the best. This was done all the time by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and by the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So they were the people who set high standards and examples for us. Even though they were promised paradise, the companions still had that fear of the hellfire. They had hopes in the blessing and mercy of Allah, but they also feared the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu himself, he said if a caller were to show up and announce from the heavens, an angel or a caller to, to announce everyone will enter Jannah except for one person. I would be afraid that I would be that one person. And if a caller came down and announced, everyone will enter the hellfire except for one person, he said, I would hope to be that one person. So as Muslims, we have to have hope and fear because hope pushes us to do good and fear keeps us away from that which is haram. And so when a person truly fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they stand up at nighttime and they can't go to sleep. Because if you don't fear the hellfire, that's why we're sleeping, because we're not thinking about the hereafter. Let me give you an example. Let's say a neighbor came to you at nighttime and you did not get enough sleep the previous night and you went to work the whole day and you are so tired you could barely open your eyes on your drive home and so you get home and you pray your prayers and then you go to sleep and you're knocked out you go to sleep for just half an hour and you hear the phone ring and it's your neighbor. And your neighbor says, Brother, brother, somebody is at your window with a gun. Imagine now, you're super sleepy. I don't care how many hours you slept that week. You're not going back to sleep. You are full of energy. Adrenaline is rushing through your body. And your eyes that you can barely open a few minutes ago, they're wide, wide like this. Why? Because when fear comes into the hearts of people, they can't sleep. And that's why the Prophet said, Man khafa adlaj wa man adlaja balagh al manzil. Whoever fears, he will get up at night time. And when you get up at night time, then you will get high status indeed the merchandise of Allah is ever expensive and it's very valuable indeed the sil'ah the merchandise of Allah is Jannah so the companions of the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah they had hope and fear in them and that's why they were able to stand up at night time and pray and just like the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he prayed until his feet were swollen and it's because of his hope in Allah and his thankfulness for Allah and his also uh, example setting example for us to 
follow in his footsteps and that he himself made this istighfar and tawbah every single day 100 times.